What's up, guys? Welcome back to Indigo Game. I wanted to give my thoughts on the Battlefield 2042 open beta before the weekend comes. I was able to play it a bit, and um, I'm not gonna lie, I did enjoy getting back into Battlefield, but there, there was a lot of stuff I still didn't like, and I'm thinking it's you know because of the build. Apparently, this build is not like the most recent. It's like a few months old which explains a lot so when i first came into my first game i came into so many freaking bugs like everything was stuttering every time i tried to walk everything just kept stuttering um i was able to get into a vehicle one of my uh, partners had a car and that was horrible i don't know what's going on with the stuttering it was just a lot on my first match it kind of kind of made me sad not gonna lie not gonna lie but thankfully some of the um some of my next or some of my matches after that kind of got a little bit better, but I was still coming across a lot of different bugs. Um, also, too, with the weapons, like I'm not exactly sure what was going on, but um, again, I'm thinking I'm, I'm I'm putting this all in the bugs right now, but it just seemed like they weren't like like they weren't really doing any type of damage. It was so weird on uh, some of my earlier matches before I was playing a little bit more and it seemed like the bugs kind of got uh, got less and less. Uh, with that being said, even though uh, my first few matches weren't the best in terms of just, I just feel like a whole bunch of bugs, especially with the vehicles, I still enjoyed it and I'm just ready to come back. But I'm really, really ready for the full, um, the full game. And I'm really to actually play some of the other maps. This map that they gave us on Conquest, um, it's actually pretty straight. Um, to me, I'm I'm really looking forward to the city maps. I want to see what they're going to end up doing on that. But uh, this one was kind of open. Um, we had a lot of different variety of vehicles that you can either call in or find. Um, different points that were uh for the most part pretty cool and pretty fun to actually help either defend or attack on which i enjoyed uh with the weapons themselves i liked and i disliked the uh, current setup again probably when i play the full game I'm, I'm hoping that i can actually pick out the scopes i like and the uh different attachments that i like which i'm pretty sure will happen but they let you actually customize your weapon on the fly i, just, I, thought, I thought this was pretty cool it's because um i noticed this when i played with my sniper i would um i like i was wondering like how why is the scope so horrible and then i randomly um i forgot what button it was but i randomly pressed a button and i saw this whole weapon wheel and i was able to uh change my scope and now i was able to see a lot farther so I was like, okay, and then I started testing out with other weapons. So I definitely like that um, that ability. You could also change other things out too. I think I saw like extended mags, better grips, uh, different types of bullets, I believe, on certain guns. Like they give you a lot of variety, but I kind of do, um, I'm, I, I do like this style of being able to change on the fly. So maybe I might have a sniper and I may want to go with my, uh, maybe, you know, maybe my X, 8X, 4X scope. But then maybe I might want to get close in, so I might switch it to another scope that's better for close range. I just like that versatility in combat. And they do give you a lot of different versatility as well in terms of like weapons, support, uh, items, and different stuff like that, which I did enjoy. Um, another thing I enjoyed was killing people with a turret on me <laughs> in the car. I definitely enjoyed that a lot more than I enjoyed killing people on Halo Infinite's turret. Um, I, I, I have no idea how that how that occurred because I usually would prefer killing people on Halo Infinite's uh, turret in the Warhog versus the Battlefield. But on this game, I had a satisfying crunch on killing people with the turret. Um, outside of that, outside of the, um, the bugs that came across earlier, but also the weapons overall, um, I am, I am still somewhat excited though for, uh, the official release next month. Again, when I found out that this was like an old, like an older build, uh, my concerns kind of dropped because initially I was like, dang, all these bugs are already in the game's coming out next month, but this was an old build. So I still have my hopes up that when the game comes out, we're not going to get that many bugs. Again, we're only going to be getting the multiplayer. So they got to nail this when it first comes out. 
I'm not trying to wait until next year or two years for the game to be complete. I'm ready for it next month. But uh, yeah, overall, um, overall, definitely enjoyed my time, let my later time, and I'm gonna definitely enjoy this weekend playing this. Uh, we went over the vehicles uh, a little bit, the uh, weapons. It was something. Oh yeah, yeah. One other thing I was uh, gonna mention. Um, having to switch and pick your weapons out like in game, they didn't let you do that prior to it. Now I'm thinking, you know, this is again just because it's a beta. So hopefully they allow you to actually pick out your weapons and pick out your stuff and customize each of your different specialists prior to the game. I'm really hoping that. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. I'm still trying to get used to this specialist thing. Um, maybe once I fully play the game, I'll probably have a better understanding of it. But so far, being able to use the grapple gun, uh, that was fun. Being able to use some of the other stuff like the uh, little sentry drone, that was, you know, I mean, that was straight. So I got to get used to, you know, playing that for a few more hours. Just to fully understand and get a good review for you guys. But yeah, guys, it's it should be free for you should be open right now if you're watching this video. So yeah, if you haven't already played, definitely check that out. I'll probably have some more gameplay videos on that soon. So definitely stay on the, you know, definitely stay on the lookout for that. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.